Hello, this is Mr. Lowry, and to begin the lesson today, I wanted to go over the spelling words, or the same spelling words that the kid had, kids or students had last week, words with uh, vowel digraphs. These are the words owner, peaches, asleep, display, shadow, dream, braided, charcoal, agree, maintain, voice, and south. I circled these because I thought these might be words they'd have trouble with because, again, they're going to write their own sentences using these words. So some examples of how to use the word maintain. Many people work to maintain a healthy weight. Also, it could be many people work to maintain a healthy lifestyle. My brother works hard in school to maintain good grades, or it also could be maintain a good average. The teachers display the students' work. My computer displays the time and date. They can add an S to it if they'd like. Try not to use my examples. Uh, they're just examples. If you're totally stuck, I guess you could use them. Who is the owner of this jacket? Would be correct use of the word owner. It could be, do you know who the owner of that car is? Remember that you're going to write, you have 12 words, so you're going to write 12 sentences. Uh, please use your checklist here. Remember that you need to start every sentence with a capital letter. Every sentence needs to end with a period. Please use your finger spaces so you have the correct spacing in between words and make sure your sentences make sense. Today's lesson is 3.11D7. We will edit drafts using standard English conventions, including pronouns, both subjective and possessive cases. So we're going to be going over pronouns. Who remembers what a noun is? We're talking about nouns. We're talking about a person, place, animal, or thing. All of those words there would be nouns. It's the subject in the sentence, and it's usually, you know, in the subject, it's the person or thing that does the action. There's a video, I will link this into the Google Classroom. I'm not going to play it now for time's sake, but you can watch it. It is pretty catchy, and it does help you understand what pronouns do. Pronouns take the place of nouns. So instead of always having to use someone's name, in this case, in the subject pronoun, these are all your subject pronouns, you could use them instead. So, for instance, uh, in, instead of saying Mr. Lowry got to school early, I can say I got to school early. Or in case, in, instead of saying Billy got to school early, he got to school early. Here, you did your homework. Instead of using your name, I can use you if I'm talking about you. She ate lunch with me instead of using her name. They went to bed early instead of saying Jimmy and Bobby went to bed early. They went to bed early. So again, the pronouns take the place of the nouns. Possessive pronouns show who something belongs to. Like my or mine, your. And a lot of our English language learners have problem with these his, her, hers, or its. They have a hard time knowing when to say his, when to say hers. They uh, mix them up for boys and girls. Our, ours, yours, and their, and theirs. So that backpack is mine. I could say, you know, instead of saying, of course, my name, that would make sense. But that book is his, since they had saying the boy's name. This paper is yours. These words are pronouns. Again, taking the place of names in this case. And these are your object pronouns. The object pronouns come after the action in a sentence, and they are often found in the predicate of a sentence. For example, he is looking at me. The teacher was talking to her. He is eating lunch with us has both a subject pronoun and a object pronoun. 
Which is the correct subject pronoun to use in this sentence? Max walked the dog outside, then blank ate dinner. Which one of these words best completes this sentence? Instead of using Max's name again, we use the pronoun he, not she. He's for a boy, she is for a girl. Which is the correct sub or correct yeah, subject pronoun to use in this sentence? Kara likes to paint. Sometimes blank paints me a picture. Again, instead of using Kara's name again, we're going to use which subject pronoun? It's a girl, so we're going to use she. Hope she doesn't paint me any pictures. That looks terrible or terribly messy. Which is the correct subject pronoun to use in this sentence? My cat and dog like to play, even though blank sometimes fight. Again, instead of saying, even though my cat and dog sometimes fight, instead, I can use the pronoun, which counts for both of them. It is they, the plural pronoun. Which is the correct subject pronoun to use in this sentence? Blank am so tired, I stayed up late last night. Again, if you're talking about yourself and it's singular, it is I. Which is the correct object pronoun to use in this sentence? Nancy and Sam wanted us to play with... Again, it's plural. It's Nancy and Sam. So the correct object pronoun would be them. Which is the correct object pronoun to use in this sentence? My brother wanted my new game, but I didn't want to give it to. Instead of brother, I'm going to use the object pronoun him. Not her, that would be sister, but him, because it's a boy. Which is the correct object pronoun to use in this sentence? I can't find my book. Will you help me find... Instead of saying my book again, I can't find my book. Will you help me find my book? Instead, we can use the pronoun it. This is examples of what you're going to do in the Google form. Buddy loves to chase rabbits. Again, Buddy's my dog. Buddy is not fast enough to catch the rabbit. So instead of using Buddy's name again, I can use the pronoun for it is a boy dog. So I use the pronoun he. So this would be he is not fast enough to catch. And instead of saying the rabbits again, I will put the pronoun plural for the rabbits it's them i got my friend a card for her birthday my friend really likes it should be likes the card so instead of saying my friend again and the card again i'm going to use the pronouns first for my friend would be it, it would be him or she it depends if your if your friend is a boy it would be he really likes. It is the pronoun for the card. If it's a girl, it'd be she really likes it. Billy got a bicycle for Christmas. Yesterday, Billy rode the bike to Terry's house. So instead, I'm going to use the pronouns yesterday, Billy, he, the bike, it. So yesterday, Billy, or yesterday, he rode it to Terry's house. My mom made some cookies. Yesterday, me and my mom ate some of the cookies. And I could be the cookies. But instead, I would say yesterday, we, me and my mom, we ate some of them. It would be the plural pronoun them for cookies. These are the actual examples that are in 
the Google Classroom. Let me skip ahead here, make sure I'm not missing anything or forgetting anything. I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. It's under Pronouns here, and this is the Google Form. I just wanted to show you, don't forget to type your first and last name there, please. That should have been a required one. Um, the first one, again, I did it for you, but the directions are there. Write the correct pronoun for the underlined nouns. Carlos could not find his running shoes. The answer is he could not find them. Again, because the shoes is plural, it's them. Number two, write the correct pronoun for the underlined nouns. At last, Carlos found the shoes. So it's actually the same answers number three the race began at 10 o'clock what's the correct pronoun to use instead of the race and for many people came to watch the race what was what is the plural pronoun for many people and then again the pronoun for race dad and i cheered for carlos dad and i but the right the correct pronoun for dad and I and then the correct pronoun for Carlos and we'll go over this tomorrow number six or the the next day because actually I'm recording this at night the day before number six this time the directions say pick the correct pronoun in the parentheses in order to fill in the blank so it is the girls road is it their bicycles or theirs bicycles to the library Seven, Emma lost her notebook at, is it our library or ours library? Again, just type the correct answer here. Eight, I recognized Emma's writing, so I knew the notebook was her or hers. Nine, is this your notebook? Or does it sound better to say, is this yours notebook? 10, yes, that notebook is my or mine. Don't forget to submit when you're done. That's all I have for today. Don't forget to write your sentences on a piece of paper and please take a picture of it and show it and send it to me on Class Dojo. And don't forget this assignment. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.